There are some Muslims who say, of course, I don't want to go to Jahannam forever, but I don't know, one weekend, I, I, maybe we can do that much haram. They said, a few days, we can handle it. I mean, come on. After that, it's not Jannah, man. It's okay. So then you party here, you pay one weekend price, and then you go back to Jannah. What's the big deal? Allah says, those are not Ibadur Rahman. Ibadur Rahman are the people, the special people to Allah, are the people who say, Ya Allah, I don't want to see Jahannam, not for a day, not for two days, not for a minute, not for a second. I don't want anything to do with Jahannam. Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem. Ida ulqa fiha sami'u laha shahiqan wa yatafur Takadu tamayyazu min al-ghayr Kullama ulqiya fiha fawjun sa'alahum khazanatuha قالوا بلى قد جاءنا نذير فكذبنا وقلنا ما نزل الله من شيء إن أنتم إلا في ضلال كبير وقالوا لو كنا نسمع أو نعقل ما كنا في أصحاب السعير فاعترفوا بذنبهم فاعترفوا بذنبهم فسحقا لاصحاب السعير I know it'll take a long time for me to explain this, but I, I want to take a minute or five minutes at least to explain this to you. There is an ayah in Suratul Anbiya. There's one ayah in Suratul Anbiya that describes the least punishment in Jahannam. Jahannam is described in so many places in the Qur'an, but the least, 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 I mean the easy punishment of Jahannam is described in Surah Al-Anbiya. How easy is it? The person described has not tasted the fire. They have only tasted a breeze. You know when you have a fire, it has a hot wind. The hot wind is called lafha with a lam. But the ayah doesn't use lafha. It says, وَلَا إِمْ مَسَّتْهُمْ نَفْحَ with a noon. With a noon, it actually means a cool breeze, not a hot breeze. And nafha is used when, you know, when you close the door and some hot air comes in, as you're closing the door, that the air that comes in or goes out, that's called nafha. Allah says, those people will taste a nafha, air. Not even inside Jahannam, where? Outside, they haven't even gone in yet. And they didn't taste fire, they didn't taste lava, they didn't eat anything, they, they're just exposed to air. And it touched them barely, masatum, it barely touched them. Split second it will touch you. That's it. And it won't even be the full fledged air, it will be very little bit of air. Just tiny little bit. So it's not even the whole door was opened and the wind came in. A little bit of it opened and a little bit of an air came out and you felt it on your skin just for a split second. And then this is the only torture this person received. There is nothing else yet. And they're not even in hell yet, they're still outside. That's evident from the word nafha. He says, Ya wailana. The person swears, I have never felt more torture ever in my life. This is the worst. I must be in the worst part of hell. Wail, the Rasul describes wail as the worst part of hellfire. So scary that hell itself is afraid of it. Jahannam is afraid of wail. And this guy says, I must be in wail. Ya wailana. He's not even inside yet. The Muslim understands, the believer, the student of Qur'an understands, إِنَّهَا سَاءَتْ مُسْتَقَرًّا وَمُقَامًا I cannot be there for a little while and a long time, I know. I should not have the mentality of Bani Israel who said, آه, لَن تَمَسَّنَا النَّارِ إِلَّا يَامَ مَعْلُودَاتِ Just a few days, we can handle it, you know. I've had long, hard, hot road trips outside with no air conditioning, I'm tough. No. إِنَّهَا سَاءَتْ مُسْتَقَرًّا وَمُقَامًا This is a category by itself. These people are special to Allah. The only thing they ask Allah is, Ya Allah, I don't want Jahannam. I don't want Jahannam. Never, at all. <laughs>